Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Nubes. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond banking. GCB Bank, your bank. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial... Welcome to the 2019 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. Hmm. We are at the quarterfinals, still in the money zone. The money zone is sponsored by GCB Bank, and this is what it means at this stage. Each point is worth five Ghana CDs. So at the end of the contest, the total score will be multiplied by five Ghana CDs and given to each of the teams. Thank you, GCB Bank. This is the penultimate quarterfinal contest, and it features St. Augustine's College, Pon Sam Senior High School, and Tamale Senior High School. Let's meet the contestants. Tamale Senior High School.
Tamale Senior High School is represented by Anjali Rathod, final year. Lawal, Lawal Sanusi, final year. You're welcome, lady and gentlemen. Thank you, madam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. I'm finding out about my contestants. When you are not here doing science and math, what do you do? I watch movies. Movies? What kind of movie? Avengers. Avengers? Hey, wow. That's good. And you? Well, I do a lot of things, and I'm an avid reader, and I take interest in poetry, too. Oh, good. That's great. For today's contest, what are we to expect? We expect nothing but the best. All right. I wish you well. Thank, Thank you, you, madam. St. Augustine's College. St. Augustine's College is represented by Elias Nantoni, final year. This is a final year. This is a buffer. You are welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, madam. How are you? I'm oh, fine, thank you. Did I ask you guys last time mm. what you do when you're not doing science and math? No, please. I didn't. Okay, then I'm interested. What do you do? Um, besides science and math, I listen to music and maybe watch movies. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. But not really. Not really? Yeah. Okay, so it's the music? Yes. What, what kind of music? Um, R&B. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. And you? Um, I play video games and read books. Video games. Video games. All right, let's come back to the contest. What are we to expect today? Um, for this contest, everyone, once you are here, it means you are a potential winner. Once you are in the quarterfinal stage. So we are not going to underestimate anyone. But we hope that God will take us to the end. Best wishes. Wampon Sam Senior High School. Wampon Sam Senior High School is represented by Apple Franklin, second year. I go by Peter Final Year. You're welcome, gentlemen. You, and how are you? Yeah, fine. All right, I'm finding out about my contestants. What do you do when you're not doing science and math? Oh, I watch movies, yes. Movies, what kind? Like adventure movies. Adventures? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so I like playing video games. Video games, yeah. I see. All right, that's good. Okay. This contest, what shall we expect from you? The best from God. I wish you well. We've met the contestants. It should be an exciting contest, but before I sit down, I'd like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service with support from GOEL, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, GCB Bank, Vimto, Academic City College, Adanse Travels, Kenya Airways, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, GTP, FH Aachen University of Applied Sciences, Newmont Gold Corp, Ghana, and Intervarsity. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. This is a prime time production. Oh yes, it is. My name is Elsie Fakoffman, and I'm honored to be your quiz mistress. Thank you.
contestants, as is our custom, the contest comes to you in five rounds. This first round is a round for fundamental concepts. The questions are simple and direct. I'm expecting simple and direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, one bonus point. If not, there's a penalty, one point. For questions which require calculations, you have 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations, you have 10 seconds to present that answer. All questions are to be attempted once only. Best wishes to all three schools. I'll be starting with you, Tamale Senior High School. For this first set, it's one of those questions, a single question to all three schools. I move around for right answers, so when I get to your school, please give me a right answer to the question, and then I'll move on for the next right answer, which would be different from what has already been said. Okay? All right. So this is the question. Give one, only one row of decomposers and detritivores in an ecosystem. Tamale, first choice. Yes, Anjali. Okay, madam, decomposes or detritivores break down dead organic matter to release the nutrients in the dead organic matter back into soil to improve soil fertility. Okay. Buamponsem. Yes, Franklin. Men of nutrients. The decomposers and the detritivores break down organic matter to recycle the nutrients in order to initiate the detritivores food chain. Okay. St. Augustine's. Yes, Joseph. They serve as the starting organisms in detritivores food genes and detritus food webs. Uh, because something had already been said about that, I don't think I can accept it. <laughs> All right. So these were the possibilities. Yes, food chain. Organisms in this level of the food chain, they provide nutrients for the producers. They provide nutrients, uh, which are then eaten by consumers in the next level, and then eaten by, so it's part of the food chain. That had already been said. Then nutrient cycling. Decomposers are involved in virtually all of the nutrient cycles on the planet. That had also been mentioned. Then the others were nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation, the decomposer bacteria are responsible for fixing nitrogen in the soil, meaning they transform nitrogen into a form that can be used by other organisms in the food chain. And then ecosystem maintenance. Without the decomposers, dead plants and animals will keep piling up with the nutrients in the soil that are still trapped and not available. So decomposers clean up the dead material by processing and then retaining the nutrients to the soil for the producers. Okay. Next set, 30 seconds. Tamale. In the extraction of gold from its ore, the powdered ore is added to sodium cyanide solution. Why? And please give the balanced equation for any possible reaction that takes place. Yes, Lawal. The sodium cyanide solution, uh, the gold is added to the sodium cyanide solution so as to remove some impurities that are found in the gold ore and so that the, the impurities can be removed. And then the balanced equation for the, this thing is that we have No, we have AU plus 
plus eight N A C N plus two H two O plus O two going into two N A O H plus four N A let me put you out of your misery. One. The equation was completely incorrect, but your explanation. Yeah, so the gold in the all forms a complex, and so the purpose is to remove some impurities. Remove it from the impurities. Okay, and the balanced equation is 4AU solid plus 8 NaCN, that's the aqueous solution, plus O2 gas, going to 2H2O, plus 4 NaAuCN2 gas, plus 4 NaOH. That's a balanced equation. All right. One point seven. Explain how gold is obtained back from the soluble cyanide complex. Give the balanced equation for any possible reaction that takes place. Yes, Peter. Okay. We, you are going to add zinc dust to the soluble solution, which is the zinc present in the zinc dust will go and replace the gold in the, so in the gold cyanide complex to form a zinc cyanide complex. And the equation is the equation is Zn plus N A A U bracket open C N surface two going into Z N going into N A Z N bracket open C N surface four plus N A O H. That's incorrect, but your explanation gets you one point. Yes, you will add zinc dust to the concentrator filtrate containing the cyanide complex, and then the gold will precipitate out, right? The equation is this. 2 NaAU Cn subscript 2 aqueous plus Zn solid going to 2 Au, which has, is a precipitate, plus Na2 Zn Cn4 aqueous. All right. St. Augustine. The gold obtained from the precipitation with zinc dust may be purified by electrolysis. How is this done? Please give the equations of the reaction at the electrodes. Yes, Joseph. With the electrolysis, impure gold will be used as the anode in the electrolytic cell. Then pure gold will be used as a cathode. And for the cathodic cell reaction, it will be gold. It will be gold ion, that's AU plus, plus one electron going into gold solid. Then for the cathodic cell, the anodic cell reaction, it will be gold solid going into AU plus, that's a gold ion, plus one electron. All right, two. Okay, so just a little bit more to add to this to get the full. You see, you have an aqueous mixture of gold nitrate 5 and trioxonitrate 5 acid that is used as an electrolyte. Uh, you didn't mention much about the electrolyte, but that's the electrolyte in the electrolytic cell. And the cathode, yes, is a thin strip of pure gold coated with graphite, and the anode is impure gold. So during the electrolysis, the impure gold at the anode goes into the solution, and then that, the equations are what you gave us. All right. Next set, 30 seconds. Tamale, 
find the electric energy density at a point where the magnitude of the electric field is 4.0 volt per meter. Yes, Lawal. Okay, we have 1.3 times 10 exponent, negative 6 joule per meter squared. That's incorrect for bonus. All right, I'm going to hold on to the answer for now. One point seven. Find the electric energy density at a point where the magnitude of the electric field is 5.0 kilovolt per meter. Franklin. We have 4.5 times 10 exponent. 13 joules per meter squared. That's incorrect for a bonus. I'm holding on to your answer for a moment. St. Augustine's, the magnitude of the electric field at a point is 3.2 times 10 raised to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. Determine the energy density of the electric field at the point. Eliasson. 4.5 times 10 exponent negative 3 joule per meter squared. That's incorrect for a bonus. <laughs> All right, so let me start with you. The right answer is 4.5 times 10 to the power negative 3 joule per meter cubed. For you, Buan Ponsem, your answer, 1.1 times 10 raised to the power negative 4 joule per meter cubed. And Tamale, 7.1 times 10 raised to the power negative 11 Joule per meter cubed. 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Find the value of A given that, that's a preamble. Find the value of A given that, Tamale, F of X is equal to 2X cubed plus AX squared minus 5X plus 2 is exactly divisible by the expression x plus 1. Yes, Anjali. A is equal to negative 5. Yes. <laughs> One point seven with the same preamble. F of x is equal to x cubed minus a x squared plus 5x plus 3 leaves a remainder of 5 on division by x plus 1. Franklin. 
Peter. We have A to be equal to minus 8. Yes. <laughs> Not available. With the same preamble, f of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus ax plus 4 leaves a remainder of negative 2 on division by x plus 1. Yes, Eliasson. A equals negative five. Yes. <laughs> Next set, 10 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. State the roles of the following nutrients in bone health. State the roles of the following nutrients in bone health. Tamale, vitamin D. Yes, Lawal. Vitamin D helps in the absorption of calcium. Yes. Into the Buan Ponsem, vitamin K. For bonus. Vitamin K supports bone mineralization. It may actually have a synergistic effect with vitamin D. St. Augustine's with the same preamble, calcium. Joseph. It forms a compound in the bone that provides strengthening of the bone. That's hydroxyapatite. Okay. Next set, 10 seconds. Tamale. The group one metals are soft and indeed sodium, for example, can be cut with a knife. What could be the reason for the softness of the group one metals? Lawal. The group one metals are usually soft because with the group one they have generally a metal, so they have a, 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 a large atomic radius. So as a result of this, the effective nuclear attraction that is on the outermost shells will be low, so you can easily cut through them, and they are very reactive, so they are soft. I'll give you one. The simple answer to this question, I'm not going to dwell on it, but the simple answer is that it's an indication of weak metallic bonds or metal bonding. Okay, weak metallic bond or metal bonding. All right. The group one metals are soft because of weak metal bonds. That's from the previous question. Why do they have weak metal bonds? Yes, Franklin. This is because the group one metals has a larger atomic radius and they have less delocalized electrons which forms, uh, which forms the metallic bond. And therefore, the effect of nuclear charge between the group one elements are less. Therefore, the metallic bond is... Okay. It's mainly the large size of the atoms. St. Augustine's, apart from their softness, give one other physical property that is expected to be shown by the group one metals as a result of their relatively large atomic sizes and give the trend in the group. The 
Yes, said their son. It's they have a very large atomic radius, and this causes them to tarnish easily when exposed to the atmosphere due to the high reactivity. And this property increases down the group. No. So. Well, bonus. Hmm. Any of the following would have been fine. So, for example, melting point, boiling point, first ionization energy, right? These are the properties. And they are expected to decrease down the group because of the large atomic size. All right. Next set, 10 seconds, with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Give the color of light of the given wavelength. Give the color of light of the given wavelength. Tamale, your wavelength, 630 nanometers. Lawal? It will be red. Yes. One point seven. Five hundred and ten nanometers. Franklin. Orange. Orange. That's incorrect for bonus. Yes, Anjali. Yellow. No. It's green. With the same preamble, St. Augustine, 590 nanometers. Eliasson. Green. No. Yes, Anjali. Yellow. Yes, it's yellow. Next set. Thirty seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. The sum of two integers is S and their product is P. Find the two integers if. Did you get your preamble or shall I do it again? Again. The sum of two integers is S, and their product is P. Find the two integers if, Tamale, S is 17 and P is 72. Lawal. The numbers are eight and nine. Yes. One point seven. With the same preamble, S is thirty-three, and P is two hundred and thirty. Franklin. We have 16 and 15. That's incorrect. Yes, Lawal. 23 and 10. Yes. With the same preamble, S is 22 
NPS 105. Joseph. 15 and 7. Yes. Ten seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Distinguish between artificial selection and natural selection with respect to the following. Distinguish between artificial selection and natural selection with respect to the following. Tamale. Populations in which they occur. Lawal. Natural selection occurs in a population that is just free living. That is the, the natural selection occurs naturally due to environmental factors in the population of large number of organisms due to microevolution. And artificial, artificial selection occurs when, an in, when a, a person allows different populations or the same population to meet or cross. One. Okay. So natural selection occurs in natural populations while artificial selection mainly occurs in domestic populations. With the same preamble, one point same. Effect on evolution. Franklin. Um, the natural selection has a high effect on evolution. Thus, it, uh, it increases evolution, uh -huh. while the artificial selection has a less effect on evolution. Two. So yes, natural selection facilitates evolution through generation of biological diversity, but artificial selection does not facilitate evolution. With the same preamble, importance. Joseph. The artificial selection helps in producing new breeds which have favorable, favorable characteristics that improve the yield of farm, for example, they improve the yield of farm products. And for the natural selection, the importance is to bring about the evolution of new structures which help the organisms to adapt in well to the environment. I'll give you one. Okay, so natural selection only allows favorable characters to be inherited over successive generations, right? Whereas the artificial selection will only allow selected traits to be inherited. Or the natural selection produces a huge biological diversity, whereas artificial selection produces organisms with selected traits. Those selected traits may not necessarily be beneficial. You know some drugs, dogs are bred and they don't really have good health, but they are bred for their characteristics. Okay. Next set, 30 seconds. Preamble to all schools. Barium metal may be prepared by the reduction of its oxide with aluminum metal in a vacuum at a temperature of over 1,000 degrees Celsius. The relevant equation is as follows. 3BAO solid plus 2AL solid going to 3BA solid plus Al2O3 solid. Atomic mass for BA is 137. For aluminum, it's 27.0. And for oxygen, it's 16.0. Did you get your preamble? 
I should repeat, all right? Barium metal may be prepared by the reduction of its oxide with aluminum metal in a vacuum at a temperature of over 1,000 degrees Celsius. The relevant equation is as follows. 3BaO solid plus 2Al solid going to 3Ba solid plus Al2O3 solid. Atomic masses, Ba 137, Al 27.0, oxygen 16.0. So now, Tamale, calculate the mass of barium metal in kilogram that can be obtained from 1.00 ton of barium oxide. Lawal. We have 153,000 kilograms. That's incorrect for a bonus. The right answer is 895 kilogram. With the same preamble, Calculate the minimum mass of aluminum in kilogram needed for the reduction of 1.00 ton of BAO. Franklin. Uh, 780 kilograms. That's incorrect. For bonus. Yes, Eliasson. 1,180 kilograms. No. The right answer is 118 kilograms. Your major question. Calculate the maximum mass of alumina in kilogram that can be obtained from 1.00 ton of barium oxide, assuming excess aluminum is available for the reaction. Eliasson. 222 kilograms. Yes. <laughs> Next set, 30 seconds. A 50-gram projectile launched at 15 degrees to the horizontal has a horizontal range of 40 meters. Find the initial kinetic energy of the projectile. Lawal. We have 10 root 2 joules. 10 root 2 joules. That's incorrect. Go ahead, Eliasson. 20 joules. It's 20 joules.
but I'm giving you a stern warning. Next time you do it, the deductions will begin. Find the horizontal range of a 70 gram pellet launched at 45 degrees to the horizontal with an initial kinetic energy of 56 joule. Peter. Okay. We are having we are having um, forty meters. That's incorrect. Yes, Joseph. One sixty meters. One sixty meters. Yes. Your major question. <laughs> Determine the initial kinetic energy required for a 60 gram pellet to attain a horizontal range of 50 meters when projected at 60 degrees to the horizontal. Joseph. 30 Jews. That's incorrect. For a bonus. The right answer is 17 Jews. Last set of questions for the round, 30 seconds. Tamale, how many letters? of a 70% alcohol solution must be added to 30 liters of a 20% alcohol solution to obtain a 40% alcohol solution. Lawal? One and five liters. That's incorrect for a bonus. The right answer is 20 liters. Buamponsem. How many liters of water must be added to 50 liters of a 20% salt solution to obtain a 10% salt solution? Franklin. 50 liters. Yes. Last question. How many liters of water must be evaporated from 40 liters of a 15% salt solution in order to obtain a 30% salt solution? Eliasson. 20 liters. You are right. And that's the end of the first round. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank.
because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond banking. GCB Bank, your bank for life. At the end of the first round, Buampon Sam Senior High School has 15 points. St. Augustine's College has 19 points. Tamale Senior High School has 19 points. Four more rounds to go. Round two. This round is also known as the speed race. The questions in the round are directed to all three schools simultaneously. For an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell? Thank you. Yours, St. Augustine's. Thank you. And yours, Tamale. Thank you. If you ring and answer correctly on the first attempt, three points. On the second attempt, two points. On the third attempt, one point. But be very careful because if you attempt to answer a question and you are unsuccessful, you either get a wrong answer or you are unable to provide an answer in the stipulated time, you lose a precious point. For questions which require calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds to present an answer. If there are no calculations, you have a maximum of 10 seconds to do so. Best wishes, everyone. First set of questions, 30 seconds each. First one. Find the area of a triangle with sides of length 15 centimeters and 12 centimeters and an included angle of measure 30 degrees. Yes, which of you? Lawal. Centimeter squared. 45 centimeters squared. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Solve for x from the equation. 2 over the expression x plus 3 is equal to 3 over the expression 2x plus 2. Lawal. X is equal to 5. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Find the set of values of K for which the equation X squared plus 10X plus K squared is equal to 0 has two distinct. Lawal. Go. 
this thing thing good that we have minus five less than x less than five i'm not accepting yes eliasson mm -hmm. minus minus five less than or equal to x less than or equal to five no did you ring yes you rang franklin when k is equal to negative five or k is equal to five <sighs> no i didn't ask for x i was asking for k so the right answer is a set K such that negative 5 less than K less than 5. Next set, 30 seconds each, and I have a preamble to all schools first. Preamble. You may take the Stefan Boltzmann constant as 5.67 times 10 raised to the power negative 8 watt per meter squared Kelvin to the power 4, and the Wien displacement law constant as 2.90 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 meter Kelvin. Did you get your preamble? Yes? No? Okay, so again, you may take the Stefan Boltzmann constant as 5.67 times 10 raised to the power negative 8 watt per meter squared Kelvin to the power 4, and the Wien displacement law constant as 2.90 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 meter Kelvin. All right, no. so first question. Find the impedance at 1,600 hertz of an LCR circuit with L equals 50 millihenry C equals 0 0.5 microfarad, and R equals 400 ohm. Yes, Eliasson. 500 ohms. No. Five hundred and two ohm. Next one. Find the internal energy of three point zero mole of a monoatomic ideal gas at four hundred Kelvin. Yes, Peter. You have the energy to be you have the energy to be nine point five times ten exponent twenty three joules. That's incorrect. Yes, Joseph. One point five times ten exponent four joules. Yes. Next one. An object with a total surface area of 0 0.65 meter squared and an emissivity of 0 0.8 is maintained at a temperature of 800 Kelvin in an environment at 300 Kelvin. Calculate the net thermal power radiated by the object.
Lawal. Go. We have two, one point three times ten exponent five what? That's incorrect. The right answer is 12 kilowatts, or 1.2 times 10 to the power 4 watts. All right, 10 seconds. A buffer is needed for a medium whose pH has to be maintained at 8.50. Which of the two buffers will you use and why? And your options are NH3 and NH4Cl or ethanoic acid. Yes, Joseph. NH3 and NH4Cl. And this because with the with the NH with the NH3 NH4Cl is the buffer of a weak base, a buffer solution of a weak base. So when an acid is added to it, to it's the the NH3 accepts and the H plus ion from the acid to form the NH4 CO, the NH4 plus ion. That's to prevent the H plus, to prevent excess H plus ions from changing the pH of the solution. I'm not going to accept that. All right, you know we are in the speed race, so the answer must be perfect. All right, you made the right choices, the NH3 and NH4Cl, but the explanation, the pH of the medium is in the basic region, so we need a buffer whose buffering pH range, that is the pKa of the acid plus or minus one has to be in the basic region. The pKa of NH4 plus is greater than 7, while that of uh, the ethanoic acid is less than 7. So it's a comparison of pHs, not what you were explaining. Next one, 30 seconds. Calculate the pH of a buffer prepared by adding 50.0 centimeter cubed of 0 0.100 mole per decimeter cubed HCl solution to 100 centimeter cubed of 0 0.100 mole per decimeter cubed ammonia solution. PKB of ammonia is 4.75. Which of you? Franklin? Peter? You have the pH to be... You have the pH to be 9.25. Yes. 10 seconds. Explain how a buffer of NH3, NH4Cl, will operate to keep the pH of a medium approximately constant when a small quantity of sodium hydroxide solution is added to the medium. Yes, Joseph. When the small quantity of sodium hydroxide is added, there will be production of OH minus ions since the sodium hydroxide dissociates in the solution. And the NH4 um, CO decomposes to form NH4 plus and CO minus in the buffer solution. So the NH4 plus accepts the OH minus from the NOH um, which has dissociated. And this will count, um, remove ex, um, excess OH minus ions that accumulate in the solution. So it's to prevent a change in pH. Okay. Last set. Ten seconds each. A 
A bumblebee species in a particular habitat all compete for nectar from flowers. A careful observation of bumblebee visits to different flowers reveals that they can coexist because different species prefer different length corollaries in accordance with their proboscis length. Which biological observation? Yes, which of you, Joseph? Um, this, um, this phenomenon is a competitive exclusion principle, and it occurs because the, the bees all occupy a single niche. So in order for them to, in order for them to coexist successfully without either of them going extinct, they have no, to evolve. I'm going to continue reading. Which biological observation explains this observation? It's called resource partitioning. Next one. The kidneys are responsible for removing excess H plus ions from the blood. If the kidneys fail to perform this function, what will happen to blood pH? Yes, Eliasson. The pH of the blood will lower. This is because of the excess H plus ions and to increase the acidity of the blood. And That's incorrect. I cont Did anyone else ring? I'm continuing to read. So what would happen to blood pH and to hemoglobin affinity for oxygen? Yes, Peter. The blood pH will increase and this will, this will decrease the hemoglobin affinity for oxygen due to boy effect. No. Yes, which of you? Lawal. No, the, the blood pH will lower, and then the affinity for, of, hemoglo of hemoglobin for oxygen will reduce. Yes. Last one. What is photobiology? Yes, Joseph. It's the branch of biology that studies the effects of light on biological systems. And in, it also um, studies the effect of light in catalyzing, in, in bringing about chemical reactions such as photosynthesis. Okay. Yeah, the study of the effects of light, all types of light, UV, visible, IR, on living organisms. And it includes, yes, photosynthesis, vision, bioluminescence, circadian rhythms, photo, all kinds of things to do with light. And that's the end of the second round. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. 
You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond the GCB Bank, your bank for life. At the end of the second round, Buampon Sam Senior High School has 15 points. St. Augustine's College has 22 points. Tamale Senior High School has 24 points. We are about to begin round three. At stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ Star. The star is an award that is given to any school, any team that is able to earn a perfect score of 10 points in this round. This is what it entails. Each member of the team will get 700 Ghana CDs. That's a 700 Ghana cities for three students and a teacher, making a total of 2,800 Ghana cities. I hope you will be thinking of this and working hard towards the NSMQ star. Thank you to Prudential Life Insurance for the star. Hmm. Round three, problem of the day. The problem of the day is a single question to all three schools. From the time I ask you to begin, you will have three minutes to present a single answer from your school. The problem of the day, as I have mentioned, is worth 10 points. Please put down your pens. Now let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. State the features of the skeletal system that allow it to accomplish the functions listed below. And the functions are, one, it supports the body. Two, it facilitates movement. Three, it protects internal organs. Four, it produces blood cells. And five, it stores and releases minerals and fat. Please provide your answers on the sheets you have been given. Contestants, this is your problem of the day. You may now begin.
please stop writing. Stop writing, Joseph, and present your answers. Hear my instruction provide your answer on the sheet given there will be a penalty There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening always understanding there's always that one individual so selfless and caring the world still has caring people Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening always understanding
ready. Contestants, please pick up your notepads and present your answers on the boards as you have them here. See, there's a one here, and there's a one here. Make sure both appear in your answer. You are done, may I have it? Thank you.
thank you. The contestants have presented their answers. Before I award the points, let's look at the suggested solution from our consultants. This is a problem in biology. The question was, state the features of the skeletal system that allow it to accomplish the functions listed below. The first function was it supports the body. All right, so these are the features. The rigid yet flexible skeleton acts as a framework to support the other organs of the body. So a rigid yet flexible skeleton for two points. Next, it facilitates movement. The features are the movable joints that allow the skeleton to change shape and positions, and that is movement, right? So movable joints. Two points. Next, it protects internal organs. Parts of the skeleton enclose or partly enclose various organs of the body. And we have examples. Uh, our brains, ears, heart, and lungs. Any trauma to these organs has to be mediated through the skeletal system. All right, two points. It produces blood cells. Now the features. The central cavity of long bones is filled with marrow. Specifically, the red marrow is responsible for forming red and white blood cells. Two points. And lastly, it stores and releases minerals and fats. The features. The mineral component of bone, in addition to providing hardness to the bone, provides a mineral reservoir, so the bone itself. And this can be tapped as needed. Now for the fat, additionally, the yellow marrow, which is found in the central cavity of long bones, along with the red mar marrow, serves as a storage site for fat. Two points, making a total of 10 points. Now contestants. Um, tamale. For the support, the body... You just mentioned it's rigid and strong. You don't really get into the details that I'm looking for. I'm giving you one out of two. Facilitates movement. This, I couldn't give you anything. You are talking about muscles and levers. They are called joints. Mm -hmm. They are joints. So I can't give you anything for that. Then it protects the internal organs. Here you are giving examples. Fine, I gave you two full points for that. It produces blood vessels. You had one out of two for that because you do talk about the marrow. Yes, you talk about the marrow, but you are not specific enough. Okay, so one. And then the last part was it stores and releases minerals and fats. Okay. So you talked about the release of minerals, but you don't mention anything about the fat. So that's also one, making it a total of five. Five points. One point, Sam. You were listing the features, no problem. It's a rigid yet flexible skeleton. For what you have listed, I'm giving you one point. Then it facilitates movement. Again, you mention joint. Then you add some other things to it. I'm giving you one point. 
then it protects internal organs. You are giving examples. No problem. I'll give you two points. And then produces blood cells. Yes, you mentioned bone marrow, but you are not specific enough. So one point there. And then stores and releases fat. You talked about the bone marrow, not even specific, but just bone marrow. You didn't talk about the releasing of the uh, mineral. So here again, one. So that gives you a total of six out of ten. St. Augustine's College. Hmm. I'm giving you two points for facilitates movement. I'm giving you two points for protects internal organs. I'm giving you two points for produces blood cells. And two points for releases minerals and fats. But this is where indiscipline will get you. Pay attention. Please pay attention. You provided me two answers for support the body. Two different answers. You know I don't like that. For the problem of the day, you are supposed to provide a single answer to a question. So I am not giving you any points for that. I also gave clear instructions. Provide your answer on the sheet. You decided to do your own thing. I am penalizing you one point for that. That leaves you with seven out of ten. That's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. Please pick up your material. Tamale. Before we begin the next round, St. Augustine's College would like to effect a substitution. <laughs> Eliasson, it's been a pleasure. Best wishes. You're welcome, Newton. Thank you. Round four. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with statements. 
when you receive a statement, please consider the statement very carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case that statement becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer if right. Two full points. If not, there's that penalty. Best wishes to all schools. First set of statements. By the way, I'll be starting with you, Buam Ponsem. Huh? But first set, of, first set of statements come with a preamble. A preamble to all schools. This is a preamble. A fixed quantity of an ideal gas undergoes a process in which its volume decreases from 4 meter cubed to 2 meter cubed at a constant pressure of 100 kilopascal. Its pressure then increases at constant volume of 2 meter cubed to 300 kilopascal, followed by a constant pressure expansion at 300 kilopascal from a volume of 2 meter cubed to a volume of 4 meter cubed. The gas is returned to its initial state. Did you get it? Ah. Okay, once again. A fixed quantity of an ideal gas undergoes a process in which its volume decreases from 4 meter cubed to 2 meter cubed at a constant pressure of 100 kilopascal. Its pressure then increases at constant volume of 2 meter cubed to 300 kilopascal, followed by a constant pressure expansion at 300 kilopascal from a volume of 2 meter cubed to a volume of 4 meter cubed. The gas is returned to its initial state. Now, Buam Ponsem. The initial compression of the gas changes its temperature to two times its initial absolute value. Franklin. It's true. No, it's a false statement. St. Augustine's. No work is done on the gas in the two stages in which its pressure changes. Newton. True. Yes. More work is done in compressing the gas than is done by the gas when it expands. Anjali. False. Yes. If two angles are a linear pair, then they are congruent. Franklin. False. Yes. If two angles are both congruent and a linear pair, then each is a right angle. Newton. True. Yes. <laughs> if two angles are a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Anjali. True. Yes. The dorsal hollow nerve cord is part of the chordate central nervous system. Franklin. True. Yes. In vertebrate fishes, the pharyngeal slits become the gills. Newton. False. Yes. <laughs> Ver 
vertebrates do not have a notochord at any point in their development. Instead, they have a vertebral column. Anjali. False. Yes. Animal fats tend to contain more esters of saturated fatty acids than vegetable oils do. Franklin. True. Yes. <laughs> fatty acids obtained from natural sources, such as by hydrolysis of fats and vegetable oils, consist of organic acids with even number of carbons. Newton. True. Yes. In general, a vegetable oil is of high quality when the three fatty acid groups bonded to glycerol in the oil are identical. Anjali. False. Yes. <laughs> the power dissipated by a current carrying resistor is proportional to the square of the current in the resistor. Franklin. True. Yes. The power dissipated by a current carrying resistor is inversely proportional to the square of the potential difference across the resistor. Yes, Newton. False. You're right. Two resistors carry the same current if they dissipate the same power. Lawal? False. Yes. Cosine of sine inverse of negative 1 over root 2 is equal to 1 over root 2. Franklin. False. No. Hmm. That's a true statement. Sine of tangent inverse of 3 over 4 is equal to 4 over 5. Newton. False. Yes. Tangent of sine inverse of 4 over 5 is equal to 4 over 3. Anjali. True. Yes. Some amino acids can be synthesized by the body, while others need to be obtained from diet. Franklin. It's true. Yes. Essential nutrients can be synthesized by the body. Newton. False. False. Yes.
Vitamins are required in small quantities for bodily function. Anjali. True. Yes. Last set of statements. Last set. Addition of drops of barium trioxonitrate 5 solution to a saturated solution of BASO4 will cause some white BASO4 to precipitate. Franklin. True. Yes. Common ion effect will be shown only by adding a common cation to the saturated solution of a sparingly soluble salt. Newton? False. You're right. <laughs> Last statement. Precipitation of an insoluble salt is expected to occur if the ion product is less than the KSP of the salt. Anjali. False. You're right. And that's the end of the fourth round. At the end of the fourth round, Buampon Sam Senior High School has 31 points. St. Augustine's College has 45 points. Tamale Senior High School has 45 points. Round five, the contest will be decided in this fifth and final round. In this round, I'm going to be reading out clues. Your objective is to solve the riddle. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third or any clue thereafter, three points. For an opportunity to solve the riddle, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell? Thank you.
Yours, St. Augustine's. Thank you. And yours, Tamale. Thank you. When you ring, your answer must be ready. I will not wait for you to compose an answer at that time. Best wishes, everyone. There are four riddles. First one. Like other mammals, we are endothermic with a high metabolic rate. We have hair on our bodies. We produce milk through mammary glands to feed our young. Yes, Joseph. Monotremes. You're right. They solved the riddle on the third clue, three points. Next one. I am an inorganic solid. I am made up of a metallic cation and a simple non-metal anion. My cation in solution will precipitate out as a black solid when H2S gases bubble through the solution. My... Yes, Peter. Okay. It is... It is lead 2 sulfide. That's incorrect. I continue. My anion in solution will form a precipitate with silver ions even in the presence of dilute HNO3. The silver derivative of my anion is white and is soluble in dilute ammonia. I am very soluble in hot water, but I crystallize out readily when my hot solution cools. Who am I? Yes, Newton. PBCL2. Yes. I read all the clues, three points. I am a property of matter. I am a temperature dependent property. I am specified for matter in the liquid state. I am a consequence of cohesive forces in a liquid. Yes, Peter. Viscosity. That's incorrect. If my SI unit is the Newton per meter. Yes, Newton. Surface tension. You are right.
I read all the clues, three points. Last one. I am a three-digit odd number. My digits form a decreasing exponential sequence. My last digit is an identity. Newton. 931. Oh, yes. They solved the riddle on the third clue, three points, and that's the end of the fifth round. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. At the end of the contest, here are the final scores. Buamponsem Senior High School has 31 points. Chamale Senior High School has 45 points. St. Augustine's College has 57 points. Ponsem Senior High School, thank you for being here. Unfortunately, this is where we say goodbye. But you are not going empty-handed because we are in the money zone. And GCB Bank is providing you with 620 Ghana CDs. Best wishes.
Tamale Senior High School, thank you for being here and for giving us such a good contest. You did well, but we have to say goodbye. GCB Bank is giving you 900 Ghana CDs. Oh. Anjali, it's all right. Best wishes. St. Augustine's College. Congratulations on winning the contest. You have earned 1,140 Ghana CDs from GCB Bank. But best of all, best of all, I look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. Well done, and see you. Viewers, we've come to the end of another quarter-final contest. Before we leave, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service with support from Goyle, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, GCB Bank, Vimto, Academic City College, Adansi Travels, Kenya Airways, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, GTP, FHR and University of Applied Sciences, New Mongo Corp Ghana, and Enter Varsity. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. This is a prime time production. Viewers, thank you very much for joining us for this contest. We have one more quarterfinal contest left. And so next time we'll bring you Obuasi Senior High Technical School, GSTS, and Takrade Senior High School. Thank you and see you next time. Bye. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond banking! GCB Bank, your bank for life. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Gold Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology. Highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance.
The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Nubes. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. <laughs> Central University, we are not just giving theoretical knowledge, but also real-life practical immersion. Our projects and research are targeted at solving real-life problems within our built and natural environment. My name is Che Joseph Bafo, an architecture student. The faculty and facilities available to us make us industry ready. The projects I'm working on recently won an award when my colleagues and I visited the Netherlands. Central University makes you industry ready. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. <music> 